Once the inventory customization is complete, you can then add products to your database. To do this, you can go into the products tab, and this is a menu where you could have raw materials, sub recipes, recipes, packaging, as well as assembled or packaged goods. Now to get started, you can click on the plus or you could right click and press new to open the menu. Once inside, you create an item number, description, cost, unit of measure, and fill the other categories that pertain to your product. I'll go ahead and show you a product that already exists in the database to give you an example. Now, for broccoli, I gave it a code, which is alphanumeric, an item number, of BRO, the first three letters of the word, 001. I put that this item cost $2.50 per one kilogram. I could enter below the vendor that I purchased this from. I could also enter if this item is a taxable item or not, or if it is a packaging. The statistics menu below will give me details on what's going on with this product in my inventory based on the information I enter. There are two components that will affect this inside the inventory menu. The next tab is the food link, which is the second component that will affect this. The food link is a connection to the USDA or Canadian Food Database to connect your product to its corresponding item in the database, you can click on the three dots and you can do a keyword search for the item you are looking for. Once this is done, it will provide the nutritional information for you and it will also suggest, according to the government database, what the yield of this product should be once you prepare it for production. Although the suggestion could be 61% for this item, you could enter whatever you want. It could be 75 85 or any other number. At the bottom you confirm the density of the item. In this case I'm confirming that one kilogram of broccoli equals 1000 grams. This is more useful when it comes to volumes. You can confirm that a liter as an example will be 1200 grams if it is a liquid that is denser than water. When you go back to the product info tab because there is a yield of 61%, it will tell you that your net cost is actually $4.10 and that in your inventory, despite the fact that you have 17,100 kilograms of inventory, only 10,431 kilograms of that is useful. And the on-hand value of your inventory is $42,750 with an on-order quantity for this item of 102 kilograms. The next tab is the Nutrients tab. This will provide you with nutritional information on your product. The next tab is Classification. In the previous video, we demonstrated how you can create different categories, locations, departments, and other menu configurations to organize your inventory. This is the tab where you can take advantage of that and categorize your actual product. To do this, you can click on the three dots and select one of the categories that you created. You could also connect it to a kosher certification if you created one, as well as an allergen if you created allergens. The menu below is only important for those who have the Ultimate Edition of Nutrisoft. This allows you to connect your general ledger to this item. When you buy it, you can buy it from your inventory account or any other general ledger account that you choose. You could also connect to other general ledgers accounts which include cost of goods sold and sales. The next menu is the lots menu. When you buy ingredients, you're given the option to create a lot number. Once you create that lot number, the system keeps track of how many of each lot number you have an inventory and when it will expire. The next tab is the barcodes tab. If you receive an item from one of your suppliers, you can enter the barcode in this tab by just scanning the item. If you don't have a scanner, you could also click on the plus and enter the barcode manually. As a result of doing this, whenever you receive merchandise, instead of adding a new product every time, 
or adding the lot number, you could just take your scanner out and scan the item and the system will know that you are receiving X quantity of that item. The next tab is the images tab. Here you could add an image of the product. In the scenario that you have a lot of products that look similar to each other or raw materials, you can add an image so no one will be confused. The following tab is a document management tab in the form of PDFs. If you have certifications, inspection documents, temperature checks, whatever you would like to store that is attributed to your inventory item, you can store it here. As an example, if an inspector were to come in right now, I could show them my certification or inspection document by clicking on the document. 